In 2007 danst ze voor de eerste keer een ballet van Lucinda Charles, het ballet Concerto. Wat ik mooi vind aan het werk van Lucinda Charles is haar wiskundige benadering. Ze tekent alles, ze doet de patronen, alles is tot in de puntjes voorbereid. Klaar en foto. Ter gelegenheid van haar 80ste verjaardag leek het me een goed idee om u te trakteren op een hele avond Lucinda Charles. Laat u meevoer en geniet van icoon. kind of work uh, as a choreographer you're always involved with people you know it's not like a painter who's off in the, with the with the canvas you're constantly having to interact and I love the feeling in the dance community the way dancers are as people and I've always enjoyed this contact very much I find it gives me a lot of energy New York is so special I mean there's nothing like it and when I was growing up, we had the best theater and the best dance. I mean, it was just an unbelievable time. And I was privileged to see a lot of it when I was very young. So that was a big inspiration. There's always something that you want to see, an exhibition or a play or even a film, you know, even things that you would not see anywhere else. I was really, in some ways, the youngest member of the Judson Dance Theatre because I had just graduated from college. I wanted to make a piece that, you know, fits in. And what we did is we presented our work to the whole group. This is not just dancers and choreographers, but painters and poets. Because of using this as an influence by the John Cage and the idea that we don't use dance vocabulary, but we use movement that's outside the dance vocabulary. So I choose these objects that do not belong together to create movement sequences. The traditional dance world couldn't understand what on earth we were doing. I don't think that we were particularly concerned about what the effect we would, what we were doing would have on the rest of the dance world. Certainly Cunningham had the most revolutionary effect already because for one thing, the dancers were not always facing front. They were facing different directions, and the music of John Cage is complete. That there's no melody. So there were so many radical ideas already in Cunningham, we didn't really feel that we were, in a way, also influenced by John Cage, so we didn't feel it was so radical, actually. Well, actually, the Ballet de Monte Carlo came to Amsterdam with two of my pieces that Royal Marenthal saw, and he liked the pieces so much that he decided to contact me about coming to Interdance. Ready? And one, two, three, four, two, two, three, three, two. Is that still working for the, for the cross there? Okay, that's okay. A musical sense is very important to me. And many people comment, oh, you know, your dancers, some of them are very tall, some of them are very short. I don't look anyway for any particular type. It's just the musicality and the concentration. So they cannot uh, do too much too soon. They have to find ways that they can relax a little bit in the movement. That's not because it's, as I say, it's very demanding. And they need to breathe through it in a, in a certain way. And these dancers, I think, do very well. Three, behind. First, there's a preparation that involves just to enjoy the music, and then a very technical way to see how many counts and how where are the shifts in the music, and then in the third way to develop some material for the for the dancers, which always changes once I see the material on the dancers. This one, the same, the cross, the diagonal step but in this direction, and you go this way, yeah. Four, two, three, four, five, two. I don't think we can say we have a method to work all together. This is true, every time it's new and it's different. And uh, we started the concerto as the first piece that we, we did together in Monte Carlo, 1998. What's wonderful for me is that he does the lighting and the decor and the costume. It's totally involved in, in the production. And he comes in at the very early stages. It's very important. This stays more or less. Lucinda is doing wonderful drawings, so I want to show also a part that we never saw usually. As 
Dominic says, I usually make some drawings, which is an overhead view of the path into space. And that's what I think he's interested in seeing in two dimensions. fortunate to do something that I love to do. Nobody makes me dance. Nobody says you must practice. So I, I really enjoy, you know, for a dancer it's almost like your life. Especially for a choreographer, you have the privilege that you can keep going because the career for a dancer is quite different. not so often that I have that opportunity to see my work together. So I'm very excited about that idea.